Okay, this is a quick tutorial on removing the background from an image. Um, I'm going to start with this image here. Basically, I want to remove the background here, but we have a couple problems. The first thing is, if I use a magic wand, for example, to select the background and press delete, nothing happens. I mean, if it was deleted, if the background was deleted, you'd see little gray checker boxes here. Um, so what I need to do here the first thing is you'll see that my image is named background and there's a lock on there. What I need to do first is if I double click this <clears throat> I can call it whatever I want. For example I'll just call it corn and I can click OK and now if I was to select the background and press delete you'll see that all of this is deleted. Um, I used a tolerance of 32 which works pretty good for me. Um, the problem is you'll see that this part here got deleted as well now I can go in and fill that in, but the easier thing for me to do would be to go up to the part that it looks like is missing, and you can see that's going to be over here, and then I'll just use like a brush, approximately the same size, I'll do it in black, and I'll just kind of come up here and connect those two dots, and then I'm going to go back and view this actual pixels, actually I'll do it fit in on the screen or not. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, and so now when I use my magic wand here to select the background and delete, I will have a background that's checkered. Okay, now what's nice about this is if you have a, you know, if you want to do another background layer, new layer, and I'll just drag that to the bottom, I can paint whatever color I want in there. Obviously that's not going to work. You know, I can pick a you know, a nice turquoise color, for example, and paste that in there. But now I can go back up to my corn layer and do things like a layer style with a drop shadow. And, you know, I can make it a lar larger distance and maybe a little bit more size to it. Adds kind of a 3D effect. Um, if you want, you can do a stroke. Um, you know, you can see that there's a few pixels that my delete missed, which I'm going to leave that off here, but I can do a bevel and an emboss to make it look more 3D. And you can do quite a few little things with it there. And then, you know, if you wanted to add a background piece to it, you know, such as a, say, a turquoise stone or something like that, you could do that. All right. Now, the other thing is if I want to add text to a piece like this, first I want to go to black, and I'm going to put something like, this is my title. Okay, now obviously that's going to have difficulty fitting in there. Um, what I can do if I click back on the text label here, as you'll see up here at the top, there's this curve T. I can click that and choose arch. Now it's going the wrong way, but I can bend it the opposite direction. And this is a little difficult because you have to get the size and the bend right at the same time. So for example, it might have the right bend, but as soon as you get it a little bit bigger, it may not fit. Okay, and then so I can free transform here, move it a little bit, and you can see it needs a little more bend to it. So go back to my text, back to my bend. Okay, and we've got a nice little graphic here. Now, you know, back to the layer styles, I could go layer, layer style drop shadow on my text as well, and maybe add a little more depth to my text. But sometimes it'll make text blurry. Um, so I can take that off. I can do a stroke around the text. For example, if, you know, you're doing this on black, what sometimes looks nice is to a gold um, color. And, you know, that's kind of how it works. Anyway, I hope that helps, and um, let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks a lot.